actually, what are the problems with the existing theory? First of all, uh, perfect rationality axiom. We are aware that there is a problem with rationality. We are not absolutely 100% rational beings. Uh, I would like to point your attention, I would like to turn your attention to papers by Kahneman, Tversky, Knetsch, etc. Behavioral economics, bounded rationality theory, Simon, and also information problems. Actually, we cannot be rational without perfect information. And information gathering is costly, time-consuming, even mis misleading. And particularly, there is a phenomenon of information redundancy. So now we have not only problem of gathering right information, right market information, but how to select them, how to analyze all those available informations. So we have problem with optimization. Do we optimize at all in real economic life? I'm not talking about ivory tower of economics theory. I'm talking about real life. Uh, do we optimize? Are we in a position to optimize or we just are searching for a satisfactory solutions? Do we know it, what is optimal? Problems of consumer choice. How rational it really is. We are subject of tremendous pressure from advertising, from we have uh, information bias, and we have problems of transaction costs. In consumer choice, we are faced with transaction costs. Some are transparent, some costs are ex ante known. However, some of transaction costs are known ex post. When you enter the transaction, then you are becoming aware of those hidden transaction costs. Assumption of profit maximization. Do entrepreneurs really maximize profits or just search for satisfactory profit? Maybe some entrepreneurs are in a position to maximize their profits. Maybe some monopolists are. But what about small, medium firms? Do they only try to create some kind of a value or some kind of profit there just through the attempts and falls? Are they in a position to maximize anything? And uh, what about the satisfactory profits, satisfactory incomes? I would like to point to the articles of Shiozawa, uh, Nelson, <coughs> Foster, and others evolutionary economists. Yeah, problems are that in current theory we still believe that the market is uh, omniscient and omnipotent. Uh, uh, there is a confusion uh, between uh, free trade, free market. Uh, there is a huge discrepancy between Adam Smith as a moral philosopher and Walras as a pure economics theoretician. Uh, we have illusion of equilibrium, something that uh, has already been mentioned. And there is a false equation down there at the bottom of this slide. Uh, this false equation that free market is equal to perfect competition, it equals to freedom of choice, equals to political freedom, equals to democracy. This is one of misconceptions. This is false. So we have another problem, abstraction. Abstraction is reduction of reality, but we, not we, but current mainstream e economics still believe that the abstraction is reality. We are simplifying the world, and we are building models with a trivial, with a very dangerous trivialization. We have substitute philosophy with mathematics and logics with statistics. I fully agree with discussion. I don't want to underestimate significance of quantity approach, quantitative methods, but we have to have sound theory in front of it. What are the solutions? Humanistic real-world economics, we also agree about that. Uh, new market, or better say post-market economy. And probably we should try to avoid another road to serfdom. There is many roads to serfdom, not the only road that Hayek described in his book. Uh, there is a danger that we may become uh, uh, slaves of big corporations, not only of state. So we have to think in the sense of information revolution. We should analyze digital goods. We should analyze free public goods, digitalized, 
goods that can be copied at zero costs. And the huge, and the I think crucial phenomenon is networking. Probably we are entering the age of networks. So in our focus should be networks. How they emerge, how do they behave, how the networks are created, how they are actually transformed, how flexible they are. Recently I read a very good textbook, whatever economic student needs to know and doesn't get in the usual principles textbook by a, a Hungarian origin economist uh, John Pomlos. He's American economist, he uh, is in Munich, uh, uh, but he has Hungarian origin. And uh, yes, yes, Komlos, uh, uh, 2014.